Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf back at Sky Factory 4 with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Now, if you've been following along, you know that we are working our way through the advancement book. Uh, last episode, we focused on the higher level tinker stuff, which was the uh, alloy tank, the uh, the warm or the heater, the uh, forging ahead, which was the tool forge, and then the armor forge. Uh, this episode, we're going to go and we're going to jump over to the age of storage and we're going to work on a little bit of some simple storage. Now, that is going to be the uh, control yourself, which is the crafty simple storage network processing controller block. Uh, the I want it now, which which is the uh, simple storage network uh, processing block, uh, the master blaster, which is the network master block, the cat five, which is the storage network cable. And then last but not least is the where's the remote. So uh, first off, we're gonna need to build ourselves a whole bunch of these storage cables. Now uh, to build a storage cable, it is a simply a six stone slabs in a crafting table with two pieces of iron ingot. And we're gonna build ourselves a whole bunch of these uh, because uh, we're gonna need some for crafting, or actually we're gonna need a whole bunch Bunch for crafting and then some for our actual you know building in the world so uh, first off I'm gonna take four of these storage cables put them in a crafting table with four gold ingots and one crafting table that gets us a storage request table uh, also we're gonna go and take four of these uh, storage cables in a crafting table with a diamond and four blocks of quartz uh, that's gonna get us a storage network master now we got one more block to build but before we do that we've actually got to make ourselves a cable so again we're gonna take four storage cables in a crafting table with four gold nuggets and an observer and that's going to get us some processing cable now these four processing cables are going to be used in the next block I'm actually going to have to build a couple more uh, to demonstrate how to use these uh, in the future as well so uh, but uh, we're going to take those four put them in this crafting table here with four lapis lazuli blocks and one block of obsidian and that's going to get us our controller now uh, these three items are sort of the heart of our simple storage network and basically you want to place them in the world connected to each other now you can spread them out and I believe use the storage cable but it, it's just simple enough to put all these three blocks together and while this is technically functional you know we can you know click on the storage master it says there's a storage request table that's at you know connected uh, and then there's a controller that's connected uh, you know they are they don't actually do a whole lot by themselves. What we need to do now is we need to connect these with things like external storage, uh, which we can then, you know, sort of bring in to things like, you know, auto crafters and any sort of, you know, other blocks in our world that's going to require, you know, some sort of inventory. So to do that, we have to build ourselves some more network cables. Uh, the first one is going to be the storage link cable. Now to build a storage link cable, it is simply a chest in a crafting table with four storage cables. Uh, now we're also going to jump over here and we're going to take four storage cables in a crafting table with a piston that's going to get us a storage export cable. We're going to come over and we're going to take four more of those storage uh, cables in a crafting table with a hopper. That's going to get us some storage import cables. Uh, last but not least is we're going to go and we're going to build some more of those processing cables. And that was the uh, observer with the four storage cables and the four gold nuggets. And that gets us those processing cables. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go and take a storage link cable. We're going to attach it to our inventory over here, which, you know, it can contains the uh, iron amber and the iron resin or sorry the the iron acorns and the iron resin and then we're going to go and take a storage cable we're going to connect it to that and now if we come over here we now have access to this in our system so you can see we've got some iron resin we got our iron acorn and I can actually pull the stuff out of that chest from you know any of these uh, simple uh, storage request tables we come back over here you can see it's back down to 32 so I'm going to throw that one back in there so next up we want to take the connected storage and we want to make it available to you know certain machines in our world so I've got a auto crafter set up here we've built this one previously so I'm not going to go into how you build it I've already got it powered and what we want to want to do is we want to prime this up with the recipe that we wanted to build so I know I've got iron acorns in my storage I know I've got iron resin actually let's turn that one to a uh, redstone signal for now I'm gonna take those four iron uh, acorns and those five iron resin and we're gonna make ourselves a uh, block of amber so what we want now is to have this uh, auto crafter pull items from our simple storage and we're gonna do that with a storage export cable so I'm gonna go and shift click that 
that on to the auto crafter and we're going to go and right click on this to open it up and here we've got sort of our white list uh, for the storage export cable now i could go and i could take uh these and i can manually put them in or even better uh, I can click this import filter and it's going to go and basically what it does is it looks around it to whatever it's connected to and says, hey, who's looking for stuff that I can, you know, supply? And it's, you know, saying, hey, this auto crafter over here is looking for iron uh, acorns and iron resin. So that works really, really well. All we need to do now is connect it to the storage. Uh, use connect it with a storage cable. And if we jump in here, you can see it is pulling the iron resin right out of our storage all the way over here. Now, this is a very, very simple setup. Uh, you can make this as, you know, complicated and you know as fancy as you want but uh, for now we're just uh, sticking to something very very basic uh, just to make sure that the whole thing works and if we jump in here as soon as it gets to that 64 it's going to start pulling in the iron acorns and it's immediately turning those iron acorns into iron amber so uh, that is great that works really really well with stuff that's already in our storage uh, next up what we want to do is we want to take something that's you know continuously producing items and you know we want to maybe move them from here here, or from you know you can use any of the storage items uh, or storage blocks out there but we want to move it from this block over into our chest uh, now I could easily set up you know a uh, uh, a transfer cable uh, that would pull stuff in there but you know perhaps this is you know way across my world and uh, all I want to do is I want to take a storage import cable I'm going to go and connect that on here and again what we're going to do is we're going to click that import filter and it's going to look and say hey what's in this chest so that I can move it sees wood it sees resin it sees saplings and it's going to you know and prime this into the whitelist now we could also turn this into a blacklist if there's certain things in the chest that we don't want to pull out so uh, there's a little bit more functionality with the uh, the import cable uh, but we're just going to go and take uh, some more storage cables and we can make this connect pretty much anywhere we want but for the sake of you know showing how this works we're going to go and we're going to connect it right up into this controller and if we now look in here it should be pulling these items out of this chest and putting them into uh, you know, basically a regular storage chest. Now, this works really well if you, you know, are pulling items into things like storage crates or even the file cabinets, uh, something where you've got one uh, storage slot for uh, all your items. But uh, for now, that's how you use the uh, storage import cables. Uh, last but not least is we've got these processing cables. Now, the processing cable is a little bit more complicated than the export cable, but they do function very, very similar. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn that off. We're going to go and break the um, the storage export cable. We're going to actually let's break this here so it doesn't pull anything out before we're done. We're going to take the processing cable, shift click on to the uh, auto crafter, and then we're going to open it up. And you see the GUI in here is way, way different than uh, it was on the export cable. What we want to do is we want to say I want five resin and I want four iron acorns. Now, so what's going to do is it's once it connects up, it's going to pull items in there until it has five iron resin and four iron acorns. Now, the other really cool thing about it is we can take the output and say, hey, I want you to do that. And then you're going to expect to get that iron amber back out one. So five iron resin, five or four iron acorns is going to equal one iron amber. So we're going to go and we're going to go and click. And if we pop over here, you can see it is starting to pull items out. And actually, we got to turn that on. And there you go. So it is now pulling items out. And actually, if we go and reset that. And if we actually, let's just pull everything out. We're going to come over here. We're going to throw all these items back in here. As you can see, as we're throwing them in, it's already pulling them out and it's going to shove in that iron amber back over here. So uh, it does bottleneck up when you first do it. Uh, occasionally, it does have a little bit of a hiccup. So all you got to do is you got to clean out your inventories here and then it will start working perfectly. And do we have actually... Um, yeah, you can see we're down to four iron resin and 38 iron acorns and yeah if we went over here really really quickly just as a last demo i've got two iron resin left um what we should be able to do is throw that in there you see it's pulled it out and it's added one iron amber so the last thing i want to build here is 
uh, the remote control. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one of those storage cables. We're going to take a two of the storage export cables and two of the import cables, and that's going to get us a storage remote. Now, this is really, really cool. This was the last advancement in the advancement guide today. Uh, Right now, this is not connected to anything. So I can right click this in the world. I'm, I'm right clicking, nothing is happening. But if I come over here to the storage master, right click on it, it is now connected to the system and I can go all the way over here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and there you go, I've now got access to that whole system. I can actually, you know, manually build stuff in here. I can take some of that wood. I can make a bunch of chests. You know, I can clean that back up. It will go back in there. I can actually take items and throw it into that into that storage system you see we got four chests and what we're going to do is we're going to run back over here and there you go there are the four chests right back in that system so uh, that is a another really really cool thing for the simple storage uh, be careful though if you've got it in your hand and you're you know, trying to do something uh, oftentimes you'll be setting it off but uh, that is gonna be it for this one guys uh, simple storage is not so simple uh, but it is a really really cool you can do a lot of really cool stuff with it but uh, that is it uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did please think about leaving a like and a subscribe uh, you can follow me on twitter at Jackal Wolf. Uh, also, check out the description below. There will be a link to my Discord page. I would love it if you guys stop by to say hi. But that is it. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.